Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Me Love, and this is your standing arm workout, no repeats. If you love at-home workouts, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel, or better yet, click that join button and become part of our YouTube community for more accountability and support. All right, you guys, we are coming at you with an all standing, all arms, no repeats. You guys have asked for all these things. We've put them into one workout. It's gonna be a solid arm day. I'm joined by the amazing Rachel. Hi. She'll be offering modifications if you need them. We have a full set of dumbbells, you guys, anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds today. Use whatever you have. You can always double up weights if you need to. We're definitely gonna fatigue the arms today. We have 14 arm exercises for you. We go shoulders, biceps, back, triceps, chest. We're gonna hit every single muscle group in about two to three exercises her muscle group. It's gonna be a solid arm burnout and you love it because it's all standing, never hitting the mat, and no repeats. You only have to do each exercise once. So you're just gonna hammer it out and be done with it. Never before seen. Never We've before never done seen. that before. Never done so. an all standing, no repeat arm workout. It's gonna be a fun one, solid arm day. Should round out about 20 minutes. So let's get this party started with a warm up, and then we'll jump right into arm day, yeah? Let's go. All right, we're gonna start with some hands at your side. Alternating shoulder seats, take your right arm, lead with the thumb up, then flip, lead with the pinky. Nice, other arm, thumb, then pinky. So you're flipping at the top, thumb up, then lead with the pinky down. Nice, lead with the thumb, now lead with the pinky. Right when you hit your head, you flip it. Nice, big shoulder rotations. Wanna take it through a full range of motion. Nice controlled shoulder sweeps here. Really thinking about getting that full range of motion and flipping at the top. So thumb, then pinky all the way down, nice. Thumb, then pinky, nice. One more each way, nice. Last one, thumb, then pinky. Go ahead, just flap those arms, flap those arms. We're gonna take it over to a hinge position. So hinge it over, hinge it over, nice. Now we're gonna go into those W arms. So you're gonna go, thumbs go straight up. Go 45, now go to the side. There we go, go straight up, go 45 to the side. Someone punched you in the gut, you got a nice tight core, flap back or you could imagine a two by four from your head to your tailbone. Warming up the shoulders, warming up the back, warming up the core, nice, one more. Right there, nice work. Now you're gonna bring those hands to your chest. You're gonna rotate and push out, bring it in. Rotate to the left, press hands away, nice. Rotate to the right, push hands out. Rotate, little spinal rotation from a standing position because today is all about standing. One more to the left, one more to the left. Rotate, nice, bring it up, flap it out. Nice, getting those arms warm, we're feeling good. Yes, take your neck, roll it from shoulder to shoulder. There we go, neck rolls shoulder to shoulder. Hold right ear to right shoulder, little neck stretch. Take this arm, palm goes out, opening up, ear to shoulder, opening up these traps. They tend to start to creep up, especially during those shoulder exercises. Back to neck rolls. Left ear, left shoulder, hold it, gentle pull. Right arm, palm faces out away from me. Nice little stretch right there. Nice, bring the arms up overhead. Right hand hits the middle of the back. Tricep stretch with a little side body lean. Open up the side, the lats, obliques, switch it out. Little tricep stretch with the side body lean. There we go, nice. Now take the arms, give me your right arm. Left arm, push away, pull the back apart, pull, pull, pull. Now reverse it, right arm behind, left arm follows, big inhale, chest expansion, spread that chest apart. Take both hands over to that right hip, gaze over the shoulder, left shoulder, back to chest expansion. Both hands over to that left hip, gaze over the right shoulder. Back to chest expansion. There we go, nice, awesome work. Grab a towel if you have one, towel if you have one. We're gonna go over the head, I'm gonna show you from behind. One arm over. Other arm behind, little seesaw action. Pull down and then pull up. You're gonna open up that shoulder, pull down and tricep. And then pull up. Nice, final stretch right here, guys. Pull down, pull up and switch. Switch the arm that's in top, switch the arm that's in the bottom. You can always grab a longer towel if you need to. Great little mobility move here you can come back to. We'll finish our workout with it too. It'll feel really good at the end. Nice, pull down. I like the pull up. I feel so good for this I shoulder right that. there. I feel that, yeah. All right, let it go. Throw that toe on the ground. You ready to get in, Rach? Let's go. We're gonna knock out shoulders right away. We're gonna knock out shoulders. Get Someone out of the way. And, and one workout, we did shoulders at the end and everybody was like, no. Uh. So shoulders first. 
Shoulders first, I'm gonna try and start with my 15. So we're gonna go alternating Arnold press. That means you start with your palms facing you, alternating push overhead right here, and push. It is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds between moves, all right? Soft bend in those knees, weights are up. Arnold press, alternating in three, two, let's go. Push right, nice, push left. Now if you got lighter weights, you can double them up. Both arms can push overhead at the same time, all right? We have three shoulder exercises, two that are just shoulder. The third exercise is gonna be a transition. We're gonna move into the next muscle group, right? So you'll go like two exercises dedicated to the muscle group and then a little combo move. Nice fun little format for no repeats that's still gonna allow you to really fatigue the muscle group you're working. Right now it's shoulders for 10 more seconds. Get to set those weights down and break in five, four, three, two, and recover, nice. Gonna try and stick with those 15s. We're gonna go to an alternating front raise. You're just lifting straight up in front of you. Straight up, again, you're alternating arms. All right, that should allow you to go heavier. If you only have light weights, double up those weights. Double up those weights, brace that core. Soft bend in those knees. Lift on the right. In three, roll the shoulders back. In two, and one, just lifting up. Low control, lower down, right? That lower down is the hard part. A lot of times we see this, it's like a and then just let it drop, no. Okay, nice, stable, strong core. Slow, 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 slow. Stable, strong core. Not dipping into that low back. Not swinging or using momentum from any other part of the body. Just lifting straight out of that shoulder. Little front shoulder raise. Shh. Control it down. Nice work, we're gonna move on to a combo move. Shoulders and biceps, 10 seconds. Come on, guys. 10 seconds. So strong, last five, four, three. Two, give me one more on the left, even it out, even it out. Now you're gonna bring those arms right here, bent to 90 degrees. Little L fly, little half bicep curl. Whew, that's gonna be tough. I gotta shake out the wrists to try and stick with these 15s. Bend those arms at 90 degrees. L fly and curl. So you're hitting shoulders and biceps. Combo move, combo move in three, two. Let's go, we start at 90, we lift up to 90. Half curl, Shh. lift up to 90. Whew. Half curl, nice. Shoulders and biceps, holy bananas. This is a fiery one, fiery one. Woo, this is our transition move from shoulders to biceps. Transitioning from shoulders to biceps. Come on, Shh. you got it. Woo, it's getting heavy. You could always alternate. Give me one chicken wing. There we go, curl. <laughs> one chicken wing. <laughs> one, one, 10 seconds, woo. Finish, Lindsay, let's go. Woo. Last five, four, Three, two, you're out. Woo! Nice work. Woo. Biceps, shake them out, shake them out. Biceps, we're gonna start palms out, supine curl, one and a half curl. So it's all the way up, halfway down, top and down, time under tension. Harder than a normal bicep curl because you're keeping constant tension. Palms are out, roll the shoulders down and back. 40 seconds in three, two, let's go. All the way up, halfway down, top, all the way down with control. Top, half. Top, all the way down, there it is. Top, half, nice. One and a half curl, you're getting that extra half curl rep in there. Rachel, was it you who was telling me military push-ups are actually like... Okay, <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I'll tell you, my friend who is in the military counts push-ups and he goes, one, two, three, one. No. So you end up doing like twice as many push-ups basically it feels like. No way. <laughs> one push-up is one push-up. That's what I'm saying. Nice work. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, lower them down, Woo! shake it out. Flip grip curl, I think this is one of our favorite biceps. We love moves. this one. You start palms out and then once you hit the top you rotate so you go hammer down. Supine up, hammer down. So you're gonna hit both heads of that bicep muscle, the long and the short. It's a two-headed muscle, hence the bicep. Woo, uh, here I we go. I never made that connection. Three, <laughs> two, seriously? There we one. go, no, we go. never. Tricep, three-headed muscle. Bicep, two-headed muscle. You are blowing my mind right now. I always <laughs> learn new things from you. <laughs> the bicep is a two-headed muscle. You got the long and the short head, right? You hit the short head on this curl. You hit the long head on this curl. Hammer curl, hits a little bit more of the long head. Tricep, three-headed muscle. Nice work, guys, come on. Nice work, we're gonna go to a combo move after this transition to back and biceps. 10 seconds here, those biceps should start to feel I it, know. yes? Fatigue, even with the no repeats for Right, that. fatigue. Come on, final three, two, 
and one, set it down. Woo! All right, now we're gonna transition combo moves. So you go two back rows, palms face in, row, row, stand up, two hammer curls, hammer curls, hinge, two narrow rows, two hammer curls, back and biceps, and then we're gonna transition into back. You see how this works? See how this works? It's kind of a fun format, I know, right? I like it. Here we go. Hinge it over, two rows in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Row, row, stand up, curl. <sighs> curl, those biceps are nice and spicy <laughs> They're now. They're feeling it. Right? I'm excited to move to back. <laughs> me too. Glad we got those shoulders out of the way too. Oh, me too. <laughs> Although I will say they might come into play a little bit at the end. Uh-oh. <laughs> Standing chest exercises are just few and far between. So it's a little bit of like chest shoulder at the end. Nice little final burnout for you. Come on, come on. Nice flat back, nice tight core. Two and two. Two back rows, two hammer curls. Finish strong right here, you guys. Yes, you're in the final five. Four, three, two, and one. We're done with biceps, hallelujah. Getting spicy up in here. All right, we're gonna go to a reverse grip, which means palms are gonna face out, they're gonna face towards us. And we're gonna go single, single, double back row. I'm gonna try and go up to my 20s for this one. Try and go up to my 20s for this one. Single, single, double. Hinge over, we go in three, palms face me in two. And one, so hit right, left, now double it up. Double, there we go. Go single, back, largest muscle group in that upper body. Really wanna try and go heavy on this one. Also another challenge for you, try not to let those dumbbells touch at the bottom, right? Single, single, double, should allow you to go heavier too because you got one arm, one arm, and then just every third pull is the double. Woo, I'm feeling it, especially after biceps. Woo, come on, come on, team. Yes, you can. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? 10 more seconds for that upper body right here. Hang with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set them down. Woo, now you're gonna go three rows. I'm gonna try and go really heavy, 25 pound. Three rows on the right arm, switch to the left, three to the left. So it's a single arm row, pull for three, and then switch, right? So try and go really heavy here. Really heavy. You ready? Woo! We go in three, single arm row. In two, in one, let's go. Go three, two, one. Switch at the bottom. Three, two, nice. Rachel's got her hand out there. If you wanted to, you could always find a bench, right? Support the low back a little bit. Make a little tripod row. It's three heavy rows. You wanna grab one heavy single dumbbell. Option, you could always grab a kettlebell. Double up those two light weights if you got them. Three per side, three per side, come on. Flat back, tight core, elbow to hip, elbow to hip. Nice, loose grip. 10 seconds, guys. Nice work, yes. Five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo. Nice work, team. Love a good heavy back move. All right, we're gonna go to combo now. So we're gonna pair back and tricep, back and tricep. I'm gonna drop back down to those 15s. This is a challenging move. You're gonna give me one back fly right here. One straight arm pullback, back and triceps, back and triceps. One back fly, one straight arm pullback. Try and stick with my 15s if I can, and then we'll transition to triceps. Hinged over, last hinged over move. Right, we'll give that back a break, I promise. In three, two, let's go, let's go. One back fly, one straight arm pullback. One back fly, one straight arm pullback, nice. Back, triceps and lats. Back, triceps and lats. You got this. Come on, you only got to do each move once. Doesn't that help a little bit? It definitely does. Mentally, it helps. <laughs> right? And we're challenging you guys today to pick up those weights. Nice work. Hannah said, this is a spicy arm workout, but thank you for always motivating me to reach for those heavy weights. You got it, Hannah. We are here to challenge you and make you stronger. Finish three. Two, and one. Holy bananas, that move gets me every stinking time. Overhead triceps, one weight is all you're gonna need. One weight, 40 seconds, overhead triceps. Transitioning to triceps, we got two tricep exercises for you here. Come on guys, this is move 10 and 14. Overhead triceps, in three, two, let's go. Bend, extend, inhale down, exhale push. Inhale down, exhale push. If you want, you could always take a staggered stance. Support that low back a little bit more. Nice work. You got it. One rep at a time. Come on, baby triceps. Push. Nice work, team. Come on. 
I like to think if I'm looking in a mirror, hide the dumbbell, show it. Hide it behind your head, then show it. 10 more seconds. Yes, you can stay in it. Strong arms right here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Glad I only got to do that one once. Woo! We are on to alternating, alternating tricep kickbacks. I don't know, this move gets me every it time is too. a burnout. I'm like looking at those 10s, and I'm like 10 or 15. I'm gonna try the 15s, we'll see how we do. Let's go. Alternating tricep kickback. Hinge it over, pull those elbows tight. We go in three, two, let's go. Kick right, nice. Kick left, I'm alternating. Again, if you got light weights, double them up, both arms kick at the same time. On this one, I always like to think, big extend, tiny bend. Big extend, tiny bend. The habit here is to get into this like swinging thing, but if you really focus on just a tiny bend, big extend, tiny bend right to the hip, that really helps keep constant tension on those triceps, avoid that swinging and momentum. 10 seconds, yes you can. Finish strong, we transition to standing chest in five, four, three, two, one. Whew, my triceps are so grateful to have a little break. Shake those arms out, shake them out, guys. You have three moves left, yes? Three moves left. Standing chest fly, one of my favorites. Palms are gonna face out. You're gonna draw pinky to opposite shoulder, pinky to opposite shoulder. Standing chest fly, little bit of shoulders and chest. 40 seconds on. Let's draw right arm to left shoulder. In three, two, let's go. So draw it up. Again, it's that slow control lower, just like that front raise. Slow control lower. So think about squeezing the chest as you lift. Pinky to opposite shoulder. Pinky to opposite shoulder. One of the best standing chest exercises I could think of. There's not a lot of great standing chest exercises with dumbbells. Tough one, right? We got our push-ups. We got our chest press, our chest fly, all lying exercises. Trying to keep you working that chest from a standing position right here, 10 seconds. Let's go. Hang in it. Come on, what would it look like if I said five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, Hannah, I think Crystal, Crystal said it best. This is one that you're gonna wake up and you are gonna feel tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Like my arms, my little baby arms, they are gonna feel this when I wake up tomorrow, right? Whew. All right, you guys, we are going to a halo dumbbell press out. So Rachel's gonna omit the halo and give you just a straight press out. I'm gonna work on my shoulder mobility here. I'm gonna go all the way around and then I'm gonna push out, pivot press. Halo, pivot press. Toes follows hips, okay? We're gonna start looping around this way, pressing to our left. In three, two, let's go. So I'm gonna go halo, pivot, push to the left. Nice, halo, pivot, Push to the right, nice. Shoulder mobility, little chest in there, little chest press. Nice, finish strong right here. Toes and hips follow each other as you pivot and press out. Shoulders are definitely feeling it at the end of this workout. Hang in there, guys. Yes, you can. Shoulder, core, chest, all working right here. We are finishing nice and strong. Boom, finish, finish. Push, you got this, guys. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Strong upper body right here, come on. <sighs> nice work, last four. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work, we got one move left and it is just a burner. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm grabbing my tens. You can do this with just your body weight. We'll see how long we last. It's good old punches. And we're gonna, we're gonna punch and punch. We're gonna do our best for 40 seconds. You could go body weight and go fast. Add the weights and go slow. We go in three, two, Get them up, find that position, guard your face. Punch, punch. This is where you just gotta shut those eyes. You gotta dig deep. It's our last 40, guys, last 40 seconds. There's no bonus round, this is it. 40 seconds of punches and you're out. You're almost there, halfway, 20 seconds left. Yes, you can. You can do anything for 20 seconds. So strong, that's what you are right here. Bring it home. Strong upper body, finish it. 10, nine, knock it out, you got this. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Holy bananas, Rach. Oof, Woo. Duh. The arms, Fatigued. nice work. This is where you're like, oh, definitely feeling a little pumped up in that upper body. So proud of you guys. You said all standing, no repeats. This is gonna be easy. This is gonna be a walk in the park.
Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm feeling like I just got a really good like arm workout, up. right? Yeah. We're gonna come back here actually to stretch it out. If you have like a door frame or something at home, arm's gonna be bent at 90 degrees. And you're just gonna step the same arm that is on the wall that leg steps through. Does that feel so good for the chest and shoulders? This is one of my favorite standing upper body stretches, especially when I was feeding my baby all the time and hunched over or if you're working at your desk. Just such a solid, solid upper body stretch. Hold here for three, two, one. Let's just put both arms up, Rach, before we switch. Both arms are just gonna come and you're just gonna hang. Push your head, neck, and shoulders through. Nice, opening up the lats, opening up that low back, a lot of hinged over. Bring it up standing. Rachel and I are gonna do a quick little flip. And then you can stretch your other arm. Bent at 90 degrees. You're just gonna step through right there. Nice, that feels just so good, opening up. It. The shoulders, the I don't chest. I realize how tight I am through here till we do this. So I'm like, oh. Right? Yeah. Need to do this more often. Such a good standing upper body stretch. Nice work. Bring it back, flap it out. Grab your towel. We're gonna do that towel stretch one last time just for good measure. So again, you're gonna, doesn't matter which arm, you're gonna do both. Just bring it around, pull down. And then this is my favorite part. You get that nice tricep stretch, but then pull up. Oh, doesn't that feel good for the shoulder? Little shoulder mobility with the shoulder stretch. Pull down. Nice, I need to just keep a towel at my desk. I know, we should just, be building this into our work day. Right, let's switch it out. Other arm up top, other arm down below. You can build this into any part of your day. Thanks so much for choosing to sweat with us today. It was so fun to get to do this workout with you. Salt, little upper body pump, knocked it out. Love it. Knocked it out, arm day done, in the books. And we're gonna see you back on the mat for another workout really soon. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks so much for crushing arm day with me. If you loved it, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've loaded up a standing ab workout for you right here. You could add on or check out our free full body strength program right here. Have a great day.